A small percentage of people, for them, coronavirus is life-threatening, even for those not infected. The COVID-19 pandemic can have a serious psychological impact on the ability to stay calm, focused and innovative at work. Combine these three characteristics of the human brain with news about the markets tumbling and the coronavirus spreading, and you might just have the perfect formula for destroying productivity and innovation. To avoid falling victim of these vices, we're joined by Abiola Salami, a performance coach, to make more sense via Skype. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Since the outbreak of this virus, it's been very challenging for some to stay focused and keep up with a normal routine. What's your observation? Yeah. How true is this? Yeah, so uh, because there is shuts down and only essential services uh, workforce are allowed to move around, uh, people are just at home. Uh, some are working from home, yes. Uh, but even working from home, it requires certain strategies to ensure that you can deliver high performance. Uh, there are many people who are complaining that they seem to be working more than they were, more than they would have worked if they were in the office, because uh, there seems to be no, um, no, no resumption time and no closing time, as it were. You know, the normal thing before the shutdown, people will wake up, uh, then you commute for some period, depending on what part of town you stay and what part of town you work. They will commute for 30 minutes, one hour, four hours, depending on where they stay and where they work, and then get to work. And then when they resume work, do this work for some time, deliver productivity, and then close from work, returning home. A lot of people are saying that because that doesn't happen, um, it is affecting them psychologically. Uh, and so uh, this is the reality. And it doesn't even look like at the end of this uh, two weeks that's been postponed, which is additional two weeks for Nigeria, and which, is, uh, which makes it about five weeks for Lagos State. It doesn't, we're not even still sure that at the end of this two weeks, there won't be another extension again. So it is, it is affecting businesses. It is affecting the performance of people. Some can't even work at all. And those who are working, they are struggling. And there are certain, there are certain things that... Uh, that businesses and people should know that will help them to be more productive in spirit. Exactly the question I was going to ask. How can they be productive at this time? And what is the place of, you know, not being at your optimum all the time? Mm. Well, if, if well, you cannot give what you don't have. And so the place of not being at the optimum at every time is so far you cannot deliver high performance. Um, so far, you're not within the mindset, the emotional framework, the mindset of delivering high performance. You cannot deliver high performance. When you don't deliver high performance, it means your business will struggle. When your business is struggling, it means there's reduced profitability. When there's re reduced profitability, it means the earning power of the individual is reduced. And by the way, the fact that there is shut down doesn't mean that bills will reduce as well. We will keep paying bills. The basic bill is um, food and shelter. So people who still continue to eat, uh, people need to have the purchasing power to buy food uh, for them to continue to eat, to also buy some pills, you know, like vitamin C and some other, uh, some other pills that will help people to live a good life. So there is that reality of that. So what can we start to do? Uh, first is, it's important to start having crucial conversations. Uh, one of the things we started in the champ team is a crucial conversation discussing these topics and teaching people the things they need to know that will help them and to remain more productive this period. Um, and one of them is the place of personal leadership. Personal leadership is the place of the individual taking personal responsibility for his own productivity. That despite that there is COVID-19, knowing that while the, while the shots down persist, we need to be productive. Even when we return from the shutdown, there is no guarantee that business, that everything will return to normalcy immediately. It will just still take some time. And some experts have predicted that it may take us up to one year before everything returns to normal for us. So taking the personal responsibility for your performance is ensuring that you are in a state of mental and emotional well-being. Uh, it is ensuring that you control the kind of needs that you listen to. And Plus TV 
Plus TV is a fantastic station for people to tune into because we are not only presenting people with fearful messages, we are also providing a platform like this where people can learn how to sustain their minds and how to sustain themselves and drive high performance, even the spirit. So speak, still speaking of personal leadership, it's about ensuring that you control the things that, that the information that is coming into your mind. So you control your thoughts by that. It helps you with your feelings. It helps you with your behavior. And you can create your own individual environment. The next thing to personal leadership, which is equally important, is how we lead people in families. Now, the fact that you're not going out to the office to work, you need to keep the home peaceful. You need to ensure that you, for those who are married and those who are married with children, there is no need to throw unnecessary tantrums this time around because it can it can impact your productivity. So you want to ensure that you, you maintain a good relationship with everybody in your household so that it can give you that time to work when you need to work. Uh, you don't okay, uh, want you don't want unnecessary distractions. Okay, I, I was going Hello? to I was going to interject because we have very limited time to talk about to ask quickly. A lot of focus seems to be on family and families that have kids. What about people that live alone and possibly are not very social? How can they manage that time and deal with loneliness that they are confronted with now because they don't have anywhere to go? Mm, great. So um, there's this popular, popular saying that we all know, uh, that an idle mind is the devil's walk walks tool. So if you are alone, you are single, and um, there is the probability to be lonely because you are the only one there. Now, so what are the things you can do? It's about getting engaged with things. So ensure that you get to do some work, ensure that you get to learn something, in fact, for you that you are single, I think that it's even a better a better opportunity for you because you have less of distractions from other people staying with you. So I ensure that this is the time that you can develop yourself. Take personal responsibility for your personal development right now. So go online, watch watch uh, um, training sessions on YouTube. So for example, just think about it that okay, in your last appraisal, for example, what are those things that your boss, your manager had said that the skills that you need to develop to become a better person. You can start to work on that by yourself. When you commit your time to learning like that, uh, you are less idle. You, are, you feel less lonely. Get something creative to do. Or perhaps there's something you've always wanted to do. I have a friend uh, who has always wanted to write a book for many years and now he has started writing. So when you, when you are gainfully engaged this period, it you will reduce the the uh, incidence of loneliness, the propensity to be lonely, and that will even lead to depression and some other negative uh, negativity for you. So it's important that for the single people who may be feeling lonely, get work done. And please, it is important to mention that we should ensure that we don't engage in destructive behaviors this period of time. This is the period that some people will get into taking lots of alcohol, get into smoking different kinds of um, things, uh, getting into pornography, getting into other things to kill time, uh, just a way of them to cope with loneliness. Maintaining what, good habits, of, basically, is what you're saying. Don't get distracted by all these uh, distractions. Yes, and all it's right. very important. Because this time will pass, and when this time passes, uh, it's important that you, you are still sane. It's important that you can still contribute effectively to the society. It's important that you can still make good of your life. So Thank it's important that we don't, we don't get destructive behaviors this time. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time and your thoughts with us. You're welcome.